Hello and welcome to our channel. Today I would like to teach you how to find the molar mass of lead to acetate. It's fairly straightforward. Take a look. Bam. So the first step is we're going to write down the elements we see in the compound. So we got lead, we got carbon, we got hydrogen, and we got oxygen. Then we're going to identify the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see a subscript there at the bottom of a particular element, all right, just put in a one. So there's only one lead in the compound. All right, that's because that's what its subscript is. And there is no parenthesis outside of it which to multiply by. Next, we take a look at the carbon. Now, carbon, there are two carbons here, but there is also an outer subscript to this entire polyatomic anion called the acetate ion. Um, and in order to find then the, the total carbon, we take the inner subscript and multiply it by that outer subscript. All right, so that'd be four carbons. Then hydrogen, same thing. Take the inner, multiply it by the outer, so that's six. And then oxygen, you can tell, is four. So then we're going to take those number of atoms now, and we're going to multiply by the mass of each element. You need a periodic table for this, so, oh, wait, look, there it is. So hydrogen is 1.01, .01, carbon is 12.01, .01, oxygen is 16, and lead is going to be 207.2. All right, so those are the numbers we're going to write down, 207.20 for lead, uh, carbon, 12.01, hydrogen, 1.01. You do enough practice, you'll actually begin to kind of memorize these numbers. Not that you really need, because you should have a periodic table. If you don't, well, uh, right. So here, um, just simply to find the total mass of the element now, we're going to multiply that row and across. So the total mass of lead in the compound is going to be 207.20. The total mass of carbon here is going to be 40. 48.04. Total mass of hydrogen is going to be 6.06. .06, and then oxygen is going to be 64. Then the total mass of the compound now, easy as pie. Take a look. Just simply multiply this on uh, up the column. That's it. All right. So this is 325, 325.30. And the units are grams per mole because that's what molar masses units are. That's it. That's what the molar mass is. Grams per mole. Thanks so much for tuning in. Check out our channel. We've got thousands of videos out there just for you, not only in chemistry, but physics and mathematics as well. And we've got other stuff coming. Stay tuned.